It was the last leg of a journey that's ruptured relations between Mexico and Ecuador. Jorge Glass, the Ecuadorian ex-vice president being taken to The Rock, a maximum security prison near Guayaquil. In December, his journey began with a visit to the Mexican embassy to ask for asylum. After four months of being holed up there, Mexico finally granted it on Friday. And then, Ecuadorian police stormed the embassy, roughed up some diplomatic staff and took Glass away. It was an incredibly unusual step, even in this turbulent region. I think it's very difficult to find a precedent of storming a foreign embassy in Latin America. It is crossing a red line which has been very strongly respected even for uh, different dictatorships in the, in the region. So it is a, a very serious violation of international law. Glass had twice been convicted of corruption. The Ecuadorian authorities have been emphatic that Mexico shouldn't protect him. De ninguna manera. There's no way that he can be seen as politically, religiously, or ethnically persecuted. Mexico contravened clearly the principle of no intervention in the internal affairs of another country. Ecuador told Mexico several times to not grant glass asylum. But Latin American governments on the left and right, from Brazil to Argentina, have condemned the embassy invasion. And there were small protests outside the Ecuadorian embassy in Mexico City as the Mexican staff in Quito made their way home. Mexico expects Ecuador to offer the necessary guarantees for our departing diplomatic personnel. Mexico will appeal to the International Court of Justice to hold Ecuador accountable for violations of international law. But it's unclear if that appeal to the courts will have any tangible impact. And that's the thing about this, the storming of another country's embassy has always been seen as so taboo that it's actually quite rare to find recent examples of it happening. Now the question is, what's to stop other countries doing the same? The ripples from Ecuador's actions could be felt further afield than just here in Mexico. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Mexico City. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.